Hey everybody, welcome back to the Best Coin News Channel on YouTube. I'm Son of a Silver Stacker. Today's date is June 8, 2024. And in this video, we have two topics we're going to be covering. Number one, the new banknotes out of the um, United Kingdom featuring King Charles III. And we're going to be talking about what had happened yesterday in the precious metals market. But before that, if you're new here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And then we're always live and never edited. So if I make a, you know what, I'm going to keep on going. All right, here we are, JM Bullion. And this one actually shows how far down the precious metals went yesterday. So I'm using this instead of money metals. And on top of that, I got to show you the demand for all these constitutional silvers. So gold ended the week at 2305.43, down 76.6 yesterday. Silver down $2.07 to 2937. Platinum down 34.68 to 980.44. Platinum, platinum is down 1108 or 11.07 to 947.50. Now, folks, you may have seen the videos, you may not, but there's a lot of hyperbole out there right about now about what had happened yesterday. And I think people need to take a step back, take a deep breath, smell the flower, and blow out the candle. Just try and relax. It's not that bad. Now, here we are constitutional silver coins and these are selling fast these are selling fast and what you can see here this one dollar one dollar one dollar one dollar here those are proof that's interesting and here we go one dollar there but right after that it goes from one dollar to ten dollars oh look at that a red one you know what those are for right look at that bam goes to ten dollars 241 227 so really it goes from basically ten dollars $34 and then 39 all the way to 316 So we have a pretty rapid jump here in the value of these silver coins, especially if they're going to be $10 face value. But it gets more interesting from there. It goes to almost five digits over here if you want $500 face value of the circulated quarters. That's remarkable. Now look at this. This is incredible. How many of these constitutionals are actually out of stock? Look at that. Bam, out of stock. Uh, the first modern commemorative out of stock. 90% silver Kennedy half dollars out of stock. Look at that. Franklin half dollars, one dollar face value out of stock, one dollar out of stock. Look at this one selling fast. No, it's gonzo, not available. And that's basically how it is for most of the constitutional silver. That's incredible, especially at those other denominations. All right, here we go. Next stop is going to be the bullion vault, and we're going to be looking at one quarter of the year so far. And we started the month of, well, March 11 at $24.35. And now we're currently at $29.17. So that's $4 and change. But if you went to just yesterday, yeah, people acted like they're, you know, they were losing their stuff over this. And it's just hyperbole, folks. Need to zoom out. Don't look at such a narrow scope. And you'll see the larger picture, right? Look at the bigger picture. Because this one, you, you can't even see the trees. All right, next stop is going to be the Google machine. And we're going to be talking about the King Charles banknotes. And they're really kind of cool, actually, the prices that people are realizing for these on eBay. So this happened two days ago. Let's see, Q and Sunland to get new King Charles banknotes, banknotes bearing portrait of King Charles the third start to be rolled out across the United Kingdom. How to get your hands on the first banknotes featuring King Charles portrait. You got to see this on eBay. So let's bam, go there now. I have highest first right here. Um, you got in, uncirculated King Charles the third, 10 pound, 20 pound, and 5 pound. What's missing is the 50 pound. I'm not sure why they uh, omitted that one. Uh, this one here, uh, UK, 20 only. And that's really the um, the kicker for all of this is that you're going to get low sequential serial numbers. And, and folks, these notes, they're not going to be producing them at mass like they would here in the United States. They're only going to produce these polymer notes once they replace the ones with Queen uh, Elizabeth on it. Okay, so... These are going to be few and far between until the other ones get out of circulation. That's really incredible, right? Now, let's go here to see what they've sold for. And, I, you know, I, I just can't believe it. I wanted to get some of these um, yesterday or the day before. And I talked to some family in the United Kingdom. And currently, they're in Scotland. And, uh, yeah, I don't want Scottish notes. And if you know uh, about the United Kingdom money, it's a pound sterling in Scotland, and it is usable uh, throughout the UK. However, they use their own notes. Uh, they don't have, they will not be featuring King Charles on the Scottish notes. That's right. So let's go here to sold items. Bam. And I will leave, I'll, I'll even bring the receipts here in a second. I'll show you. Look at this sold June 6th. That was two days ago for 33 bids at $330.76. And you get one example of each, a 5, 10, 20, and a 50. Now, that's probably what I would do as well. And I tell you, these are probably going to be the lowest ever, right? on the serial numbers for any of these. Look at this, 354.93, you get one of each. So yeah, 330, 354, 278, that person scored right there, right? Compared to the other's buyers. 286, that's one of each example, that's excellent. Look at these, a set, bam, 20. 
and you get two of them, right? And then 10 on the five. That's remarkable. And so on and so forth. So they're selling for good money. Good money. Now let's go to the Bank of England. Bam! Right there, Bank of England, home banknotes, King Charles banknotes. We began issuing banknotes featuring King Charles III's portrait on 5 June 2024 to co-circulate with Queen Elizabeth II. All right. It says here, banknotes featuring will be first issued June 5. All right. The portrait of King appears in existing designs on all four banknotes, the £5, £10, £20, and the £50, with no other changes to the existing designs. This means you can check these notes in the same way you can check our polymer banknotes featuring Queen Elizabeth. And there she is. And these guys are actually German. I don't even know when the last time an English monarch ruled England. It's remarkable. I don't even think the Celts were from England. Now, here we go. These are the notes right here, and I will show you. There they are. They're, they're actually kind of cool looking. Got the five pound, and look at this. Right after the 10 pound, you got some special design action over here with the 20 and the 50. That's pretty cool. And uh, I will leave a link in the description now. It says here what will happen to the banknotes featuring the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. Banknotes that feature hers will remain legal tender and are co circulating along the Charles III notes. And these new notes are only be printed to replace those that are worn and to meet any overall increase in demand for banknotes. Our approach is in line with guidance from the royal household to minimize the environmental and financial impact of this change. That's kind of, uh, that's kind of amazing, actually, that they're even thinking about that. Now, it says here, can I exchange current or old series banknotes for King Charles III banknotes? Absolutely. It says banknotes featuring the portrait of Queen Elizabeth will remain legal tender and can be continued to be used. There's no need to exchange the current banknotes for the King Charles III, but I bet you could. We recognize that people may be interested in seeing the new notes and have therefore put in place temporary facilities. Wow, would the Mint ever do that here in the United States? Temporary facilities to allow people to obtain a limited value of the King Charles III banknotes. There will be a limit per person, so it looks like these folks that are selling on eBay uh, have a limit of how many they can purchase of those notes right there. That's interesting. Now you can obtain these new Charles III banknotes using our postal exchange service. If you send us current or old series banknotes, see there's the ones I'm talking about, Along with a completed application form, we will return King Charles III banknotes to you in exchange. The exchange notes can only be sent to a UK address. Dang it! Mm, that's too bad. Now, the service will be available from 5 June to 30 June 2024, up to a limit of £300 per customer. Cash sent us in excess of this amount will be returned to you by your request. Return postal method alongside the £300 King Charles banknotes. Applications should be made using this form here. And there's a link. Now, if you do know somebody in the United Kingdom, you might want to ask them. Now, I asked my friend to pick me up some of these notes, and she's currently in Scotland. So I'm like, hmm, that's not going to work. So the counter at the Bank of England, uh, Threadneedle Street, will only be issuing new banknotes featuring King Charles III from 5 June to June 11. So we got three more days, folks. The counter is open to UK and non-UK residents. The same limit of £300 per customer applies. Any banknote exchanges completed in excess of 300 on these dates, or £300, will receive banknotes featuring the portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. So yeah, you're not going to get the, uh, more than 300 that's it. There's a cap. Please note that we expect there to be high volumes of customers and long wait times over this period. If you have an exchange of old series banknotes in excess of 300 pounds, we would strongly encourage you to avoid these dates. Yowza. Security measures are in place and access will you usually only be permitted to the individual who is exchanging the banknotes. That makes sense. We will ask members of your party or family to wait outside the building. We ask that you not bring large bags with you or bags will be searched. We request that liquids, bikes, scooters, and motorcycle and bike helmets are not brought into the building. There you go. Now, businesses, do businesses need to update their banknote machines? If your business uses or is responsible for any machines that accept sort check note banknotes, uh, you need to plan for their adaptation to work with the new mode designs. So I guess that's a yes. There they are, folks. Pretty cool, right? Look at that. They got Churchill on the back there. I'm not familiar with that one, that one, or that one. And that's about it. That's my ignorance. And I plead ignorance on that one. So they're kind of cool. Yes, it was very helpful. Thank you very much. Yeah. What do you think, folks? Would you like some of these or would you not? Let's keep on keeping on. Now, here we go over to Continental Currency Exchange. And it says here, are the Scottish pound and the British pound the same? The short answer is no. While there is a long history to the Scottish pound or the pound Scots, pound sterling, the currency has met its end with the Union Act of Union in 1707 when it was replaced by the pound sterling, although the pound Scots continue to be used through much of the 18th century. So what are these Scottish banknotes you're holding? Well, there they are, right? So think up down here. Uh, bu, 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 I think it's right here. The Scottish pound versus the British pound. Confused yet? Let's simplify it. The Bank of England is the central bank of the United Kingdom and issues pounds, sterling banknotes, and coins. This currency issued by the Bank of England is legal tender and must be accepted throughout the UK. Now, 
in England, which is different because, you know, there's England, there's Scotland, there's Wales, and there's Northern Ireland, right? That's the, all right, that's about it. In England, the only issue of any form of currency is the Bank of England. The case is different in Scotland, where three retail banks exist, the Bank of Scotland, the Royal Bank of Scotland, and the Clydesdale Bank, each one issuing its own banknotes. You remember when the United States banks used to issue their own banknotes? Well, they're still doing it in the United Kingdom. These banknotes are legal currency, meaning they can legally be used for the payment of debts, but the only party obliged to accept the note is the bank that issued them. That means if you take those notes into England, they could probably give you some side eye and not accept those notes. They may, but they probably won't. And that's just the way it is, right? That's something. Now let's go to those plus ones. I've yammered for way too long. Now this is about types of people. Now who's wise? Well, those who learn from everyone. Who is strong? Well, those who can control their emotions. Who is rich? Well, those that are content with their fate and their lot. And whom do people honor? Those who honor their fellow man. That's Ben Zoma from the Chapters of the Fathers. Now let's go over here to Three Nines Vine, 99.9 KOI and Coin News Radio. This is the fix. Secret separation. Hope you dig it as much as I do. Now, folks, I want to thank y'all for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you hear and see, sub the channel. It's free. Also, maybe consider becoming a member. It's only $1.99 a month. Also, check this out. We got some cool stacker gear. And then we got these awesome scent finder hunting mats. These folks, if you haven't picked one up, I do believe these are going to pay for themselves. They really are remarkable. Look at this legend right here. DDO, DDR, repunch mint mark, repunch date, doubled ear, flare G, no FG, no VDB, one's bronze. I mean, I'm telling you, it's all there, folks. It's beauty. And we even got a little anticipation, anticipatory um, action going on here for 1776 and 2026. And will 2026 be the last year of the Lincoln set? I would say probably, and that will be it for the Lincoln set. Now, thanks, folks. Appreciate y'all. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. And if you're watching this on a weekday, we'll have a great day. Stack her out.